Welcome back to another episode of the Woo Pig Podcast. Well, we talk about everything, Arkansas, Razorback, football, basketball. Man, we even talk about baseball. Every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, the Woo Pig Podcast, man, we stream it on all major platforms. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. Make sure you subscribe on all of our platforms. If you enjoy the audio-only version, we everywhere, including Apple Pod- Podcasts, But we really rock with Spotify because you can switch between audio and video over there. Check us out over there. Make sure you subscribe. The Whoopick Podcast, man, we brought to you by our sponsor, 3M Electric, the official sponsor of the Whoopick Podcast serving Northwest Arkansas. They are your trusted commercial and residential electrical contractor. As a SDVOSB, they're dependable and reliable with no job too big or small when it comes to your electrical needs. Contact 3M Electric at 479-408-9865. Let them know you heard it on the Woo Pig Podcast, baby. Man, you already know who I got in the building. Yo, you got your boy G. Holmes in the building, a.k.a. Big Sexy. Somebody out there holler for me. Oh, my God. Mm, O.D. Man, and you know we take the bad little brother everywhere we go. Yes, sir. What it do, Wu Pig family? It's the bad little brother, Wu Pig Deezy. Back at it again. 100%, man. And before we get started, man, I got to give a huge shout out to all the members of the Wu Pig podcast. We appreciate you guys for supporting us. We appreciate you guys for being members. We got a new video dropping this week. So make sure you tap in for that. Members going to get it first. You already know how we do. Now, down to the business. If you don't know, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you ain't got a YouTube page, create one, subscribe. Make them numbers go up so we can just keep leveling up. That's what we want to do. And share the video. Y'all can share it with some folks. That too. That too. Now, now let's get to the let's get to this cooking, man. Yeah, time to cook, man. Word on the Uh-oh. street, bro. It's a lot of word on the street today, man. When we, and when we say word on the street, that means allegedly. That's what they talking Alleg- about at the barbershop. So, we're going we going back to the barbershop, y'all. Yeah, we don't know, but it's what we heard. <laughs> yeah, what we yeah. heard. I got, yeah, I got my fade. I mean, I got my hair cut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all, y'all may not know, man. I, you, no, I do that myself. These been to the barbershop. <laughs> yes, sir. We, we man, just go to the barbershop like, oh, just to talk. <laughs> we to the barbershop talking. We wasn't getting no haircuts. Man. <laughs> man, speaking of the barbershop, man, I went to the barbershop the other day, man. I was like, man, hey, how much you charge for uh, tightening up my beard, man? That boy told me $35. I said, boy, you better... Ooh. You better jump off the Little Rock Bridge. You think I'm paying you thirty five dollars to cut my, bruh? Bro. I'm gonna do that thirty five dollars. Thirty five dollars, bruh. Thirty five. I said, boy, Man. y'all, this highway robbery out here now. I'm I walk smooth out. I'm like, I'm not paying y'all no thirty five dollars. Nothing. Thirty five. No crazy. It's crazy, but barbers. Sh- Man, barbers is tripping out here. Thirty five dollars, boy. You better jump mm-hmm. jump off the four thirty bridge, bruh. You got me <laughs> bent out of shape. Think I'm just paying five dollars. When I I had a head full of dress and they was charging me about forty forty five back in the day. I'm like, dang. Mm. Yeah. Just to they get trip. a line. Yes. Just to get a line. A, a line in your beard, boy. That's for that. But that's high. Bro. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> man. You nah. know what we like to say? A Y S. You heard me. <laughs> Thirty-five. Thirty-five dollars. <laughs> Not your boy. Anyway, man, word on the street, man. Is yes, Eric Musselman is trying to get on? He's trying to get up out of Dodge, man. They they uh-huh. say Eric Musselman trying to. He's sending out fillers. He's trying to get a new job, man. He's trying to see what's up with Minnesota and Arizona State. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm like, why would you leave? It's like it's like you got Beyonce, but you leave her for the girl who worked at Taco Bell. Ooh. Hey, Arizona man. State, Minnesota? It's a lot easier to please that girl that work at Taco Bell, man. You get her two Big Macs <laughs> and she's satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> ain't no Woo Pig podcast in Minnesota. They ain't got nobody Mm-mm. that's going to hold them accountable. Nah. Or Arizona State. We don't know what they got over there. But I do mm. know. Mm. Ain't no way in the world you should leave a top-tier program to go coach Minnesota or Arizona State. That's word on the street. <clears throat> that's what they saying, man. Now. Nah. What y'all okay, think about so let, that? Well, when I was in the barber shop, we was just we was talking about that particular thing right there. Now, what was being said about by Musselman is, and this is somebody close, close, close in his camp, <clears throat> that he got a shelf life. And his shelf life is about four years. And that's something that he says. He, he, he only likes to stay at a program for about four years because, you know, the way he likes to run a program sometimes is not sustainable and it starts creating a lot of problems. And then he, he get on down and go somewhere else. And, you know, this is about that time. Now, one of the other people in the barbershop, they said, well, the reason why you know, uh, Eric Musselman's uh, agent has been talking to Hunter Yurchek is because it's time to renew his contract. So, you know, they in talks about that. So it was a, it was a it was a back and forth in the barbershop. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't just one sided in the barbershop. Like I said, word on the streets. Now, when you go in the barbershop, you got to listen to both sides of the story. And that was the two sides of the story that was in the barbershop. And I was in there getting my hair cut. So, I don't know. DZ, what's your take I on mean, that? I mean, like you said, man, you know, sometimes Beyonce ain't cut out for everybody. Now, mm. I, I think Musselman is definitely a top-tier coach. But yeah. it's all about looking at the landscape of where NIL is taking this thing and all these different players and this um, feeling like they deserve more than what they deserve. And I, on one hand, I would hate to see Musk go. But on the other hand, like G said, he was at Nevada for four seasons. This is yep. fifth year at Arkansas. This is something he never did at a college. He's never stayed at any college this long. And he's having his worst year by far. Not just at Arkansas, but in college ball, period. So maybe it's getting to him. We all see how Musk is in those press conferences when we lose. He hated. It. It's nothing Musk hate more than losing. So I think it's getting to him for real. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but he put the team together. He can't be mad at nobody but himself. He he That's recruited them. Right. So, so let me That's ask you another question, right? Hypothetically, right? We lose Musselman. Do you think it's gonna be a huge fall off? <laughs> I mean, we ain't got we already land on the ground. <laughs> I mean, what you mean? <laughs> but man, you know how what I mean, it took us so long to get back to winning. Are yeah, you are I, you ready to 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 possibly go back to trying to find the right coach to to coach the Razorbacks and go through a John Pelfrey and a Stan Heath and a mm, Mike Anderson? Hey, I'm tired. I'm tired between football and basketball, dog. Hey. I'm tired. Yeah. I, the only, you know what's crazy? Yeah. We don't even, it's not even that we just want a championship in Arkansas, which we do. Don't get me wrong. We do. But we just want consistency. We want to compete consistently. And for some reason, that's just so hard for us Razorback fans. I don't know what we did to everybody to make us suffer the way we do, but I'm I'm tired. I don't want to go through another coaching carousel. Mm. 
Uh oh. There you go. Mama. Mm. There you go there, man. So hey, box says UCLA, USC, or Cal. Yeah, Those trying are the, to the he trying to get back to the West Coast? Yep. I heard I heard some similar takes. Yeah. Like I I, I can see it. He like, hey man. LeBron's son just went to USC. USC about to get back popping. UCLA a basketball powerhouse. Ain't no telling. Man. Yeah. Man, shout out to Box for supporting the channel, man. We appreciate the super chat. <laughs> I mean, all them programs is UCLA actually is not too bad. But the rest of them programs ain't no good. Nah, USC really. trash. Yeah. Cal, trash. I mean, why well, I, I think it's low. Yes, I mean I understand. Yeah, he want to be out there on the West Coast. He gonna get. I mean, but what you? I don't know, man. When, hey. When's the last time Cal has been relevant since Jason Kidd was there? That's true. <laughs> Might be right. But, but it's I mean, one saying that we're not thinking about. What's that? Happy wife, happy life. Word on the street. Shot? Where my gunshot? I hit the. <laughs> you, you, I'm just gonna keep shooting until the music go off. <laughs> what? Boy, hey. you cannot, you cannot say that ever in my presence. Hey. Happy wife, happy life. I hate I, that saying. He, he I hate it too. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Don't hey. say that. I'm sorry, man. That's word, word on the street. Hey, man, word on the that. street is that Bruh. Letty Musselman is not a fan of Arkansas. I'm sorry. I heard okay. the kids hate it here. I heard she don't like it here. Okay. They, they might, you know. I don't chase them. I replace them. Oh. I, 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 I don't nobody care about what you like. I don't care about what you like. You yeah. ain't got no job. Well, I don't care about what career. you like. Your job is to support me and take care of the family. That's your job. We care That's about what you job. like. You ain't got to work. You ride around here in the finest. You dress in the finest. You look in the finest. What? You get yep. up and you ain't got to do nothing. I even got somebody to come over here and clean up the crib. You want to talk about what you don't like? Bruh. <laughs> happy wife, happy life, girl. You better get gone before I get, hey, get Becky with the good hair. You better stop <laughs> playing with me. You better stop <laughs> playing with me. I don't with chase them. I replace them. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Huh. Oh, Boy, bye. Man. Hey, like oh, like he like man. his life don't matter. Man, stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> what? D hey, G DC don't oh, know. That's that's a trigger right there. <laughs> hey. We got some argument. We <laughs> it's a long story, but don't don't ever say that no more. <laughs> uh, hey, Nisha, my wife right upstairs, and I ain't quiet. I'm telling you right now, she know the business. She know, know the business. Man. <laughs> she know the business, man. <laughs> that, that, hey, that my boy, fly. my boy, y'all D just went Kevin Samuels on me, man. <laughs> <laughs> RIP. Uh -oh. Happy wife, going. happy life, fam. Uh -oh. It's almost yeah. like saying your life don't matter. What your happiness doesn't matter. All that matters is 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 that she's happy. And that's this, what it, society it, have us believe. Yeah, uh, you make her happy, and then she and then she leave you. She leave you for Ray Ray or, or Chad. Hey, yeah. cause Chad, yeah, uh -huh. he, yeah, he giving her that 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 that. Hey, he, he tightening bolts while you out here, <laughs> bruh, Why, bruh. Don't you? get me to talk about this. This is supposed to be a Razorback podcast, and y'all got me talking about happy wife, happy life. I can go on and on and on yeah. about it, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> Muscleman, if you're trying to make your wife happy, bruh, I was, it ain't never going to happen, bruh. You hey, you going to be out here like Will Smith, man. You're going to be struggling. You're going to be <laughs> struggling, bro. Don't do it. She going to make a fool out of you, bro. Don't do it. Don't 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 subscribe to that happy wife, happy life. Boy, she man, you have you out here slapping boys hey. on the Oscars, man. Stop it. <laughs> hey, hey, dude. You gotta come up with a compromise. So uh, <laughs> happy wife, happy that, life. Yeah, I forgot oh, to tell you. Uh, don't say that. Don't don't ever say that no more. <laughs> I forgot what we supposed to be talking about right now. Hey, oh, we're down uh, the hole. 
Hey, man, my but, bad, dog. I did not. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, what we was talking about man, is. That's what the street's to, saying, though, man. He's trying to get back to the West Coast. Man. <clears throat> but, you know. That's just, that's just, As my boy Boaz said, he's a Hall of Fame sipping. <laughs> 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 Oh man, that would get me to start, man. I, I can't concentrate for the rest of the show now. What were you talking about, G? We got a super chat. Super chat, my bad. Who's super chatting? I'm, y'all got me talking out here, man. Mama. There go that man. <clears throat> Money always talk. And we're NIL and Portal. We want to be down like before. Money will get a good coach. Yeah. Hey, that's yeah. true, man. That's that's not that's true. true. But word on the street is the Hunt Uh-oh. family is is pulling they pulling they dollars and cents from the NIL for the Razorbacks for the basketball team. Hey, I'm telling that's you what, something, man. The barbershop. Hey, man, they've been getting they they've been giving out some haircuts this week. I promise. Boy, the they've barbershop been, out some been talking. The barbershop is buzzing. <clears throat> man, I just I want to come in on that though. Is that Which true? One? Like, do y'all really think that's true? What he just said, money will buy a good coach. If that's the problem, why we got Pittman? Like, if if that's the case, <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> think money is the cure all end all these days. It's too much money Bro, floating around here. Because we've already spent that money. I mean, that money's already spent on him. Now he just so happened to be, you know, a little less than what we thought. But he got some money. Do you, I mean, do you disagree? Nah, but I okay. heard that when before he got that money, nobody else wanted it. Well, I mean, does everybody got a price? Mm. Everybody got a price. Johnny so. Young said basketball in NIL at Arkansas not good. Houseway, Houseway, they gave they gave um Snoop Dogg eight hundred thousand last year. What you mean? That's pretty good to me. Sound good to me? I know. I uh, yeah, the other boy, what's the other boy uh, with the, all the hair? He had a big deal too. Hey, they uh, they paying at Arkansas. They paying them back. Oh, Black Anthony Black. Yeah, Anthony Black had a good deal. Uh, ooh, I almost said his name too. Boy, I got uh, Jordan Walsh. You know, I, just, I almost got caught up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that one. That's the last know, thing we need right there. I don't need none of them folks looking for me. But uh, so I mean, they paying. I mean, they paying the players. But the Hunt family is the most of the for for basketball. And uh, at the barber shop today, uh-uh, the people came in there, man. They was like, "Look here, man. Uh, that might not be the case." So it's a lot of stuff that's brewing. And you know, when you in the barbershop, you think about this. We in the barbershop and we got all these conversations going on. Think about how the conversations could relate to each other. You feel me? All these conversations that we having, they could be related. So you gotta just remember that. Remember what we're telling you. You know, we we try to spread it out so you may not understand it might be it might be the same person in the barbershop talking. They know some stuff, you know what I'm saying? They in some meetings. So all I'm saying, a lot of this stuff is related. Paper player said at the end of the day, I don't want to see Musselman go. I don't either. I mean, I think it's a good coach. Max, we don't want to see him go. But, I mean, if that's what the barbershop's saying, we got to talk about it at least. Got to talk about it. You know, the only thing we do is report what we heard at the barbershop. That's it. You, I mean, you do your own research. We're not here. We just here to say, hey, man, I got my haircut today. Guess what they were talking about? I want to go back to something you said, man. Uh, what that is. Negotiating, my, no, negotiating the new contract, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, at this point in the game, would you say Musselman deserves top-tier money as the Calipari's? Uh-uh. No? Why? Because he, no. Didn't, because he didn't have a championship? Uh, I mean, he been here. This is his fifth year, and like you said, we've had uh, three consecutive Sweet Sixteens, two uh, um, Elite Eights. 
So, I mean, that's a pretty good record. I mean, you got to think about that. I mean, not many schools can boast about that the last three years. You know what I mean? So that's that's great. But he's not going to get that because he hasn't really got over that hill and get to the final four and get to that last game. Even if you, even, even if you get to that last game and lose, hey, man, you you making some noise. So, you know, even with this big contract that he had, he's still not even in the top five. He still isn't. So, like, like Wes Brown said, if you don't pay him, somebody will. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. Somebody will pay him. Yeah, that's true. But I, so. I don't know. That's that's a weird one for me. I, he don't deserve top tier money, but he definitely deserves good money. I say that. Good, but not yeah. great. Yeah, he don't, hey. I mean, he don't need to be like I'm saying, worried hey, about pay, pay the man. He earned. It. I feel yeah, like he, he earned smart. it. Pay the man. I, I, mean, I don't. I don't disagree. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get in my email and bring out this other point, but uh, nah, I ain't gonna do that. But uh, yeah. Now. Other news, we already know about Devo. Mm. Devo left the program. So much to speculate on and with that. Why he left? Did he get kicked off? Did he just stay, really just step away for a minute, go handle some business? What What's all behind that? We, we don't know. But all I see is for two years in a row, Devo has left the program. True enough, I don't follow a lot of teams around the country, but you never really hear about a a star player leaving the program. And I can't help but to think, man, the young man struggling with something. He got something going on in his life. He really needs some help, right? And Mm -hmm. I'm like, what what if this was what if this was my son? And he true enough, he's young enough to be my son. What would I tell that young man? Hey man, you would I tell him to, to to quit? Or would I tell him to stick it out? Because being a a young man and coming from the communities that we come from, Devo got an opportunity that not a lot of us will ever understand or will never get. And it can't be taken for granted. It can't be just pawned off and say, you know what? You don't support my lifestyle. You don't support my lifestyle. You don't support my dreams. You, you're not playing me. I'm just going to quit. Or whatever the case may be. We get into it. You my boss. I'm going to go to work today and be like, I wish I wish a, I wish a, I wish a, a ninja would say something to me today. I'm going to burn this junk down. <laughs> How many, how many what? times in your mind you done said you done said something crazy like that? But then when you sitting Bro. there working, you be like, man, I really need this job. Yeah, I ain't gonna be so able to you, say that today. So you pipe down. Yeah, and somebody should be in his ear, his uncle, his, whoever is the person that is leading him, and say, look here, man, it's bigger than 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 this basketball court. Yeah, you may be able to, to to follow this dream and possibly make it to the highest levels of playing basketball. But when those people that's making the decisions look at Devo's character of having to leave the team for whatever the reasons may be, they want to know, can I rely on him to be there for his teammates? Mm-hmm. Bro, you can't give up when it get hard. You, yeah. you if you get benched, you get benched. You go to practice and you practice like I'm trying to get back in. You got to support yeah. whatever the coach say. You got to because you're not in a position to make decisions. And until you get into the position to make decisions, bro, sometimes you got to bite your tongue and you got to live to fight another day. And leaving the program for whatever the reasons may be, ain't a good look. No. So, so if you can get back, 
you should go back and support the team. However that however that looks, go back and support the team because what we know about the state of Arkansas, man, they take care of their own. Mm. But when they look at they gonna one day when you when you go to that interview at whatever corporation there in Northwest Little Rock, are they gonna remember Devo Davis as giving us some of the greatest moments of in Arkansas Razorback history, dunking on the dude with no time on the clock? How about leading us to victory against Kansas? Those were great moments. Or are, going, are they going to remember the Devo that quit? Yeah. That's all I got to say about Devo. Now, for me. That was beautiful. <clears throat> now, for me, is is this. So, kind of mirroring what you said, OD. Well, well our culture, man, we, we come from... We we always say getting it out the mud, you know what I'm saying? We come from the bricks, you know what I'm saying? Is 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 always hard because we have to work ten times harder than the next person just to get the you know the same or lesser recognition. So whenever you're in a position, whenever you have the opportunity to be in a position of leadership, number one, you have to take those, you got to take those times and really just you know what I'm saying? Make it the best. So I can understand, you know, everybody got bad days. Like you said, man, you have a bad day at your job and on the way to work, you know what I'm saying? You bumping that pop. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You be like, yeah, first somebody say something, they finna get it. And then you think about your family. You think about the your family's name, your reputation. You know what I'm saying? And you think about those things and you say, you know what? I ain't going to do that. I'm going to go in here and even in the face of adversity, I'm going to be smiling, but I'm going to dig in. So I can understand, you know, like last year, he stepped away for a game or two, I think, then came back. You know, people gave him a pass on that, you know, for whatever reason. And we don't know the reasoning. We don't know. But for for the people on the outside, stepping away to me is a just a you know kind of a dressed up way to say I quit. I ain't doing it. I quit. That's just what it is. They they, they don't want to use the word quit, but that's what is that's basically what it is. Man, I'm gonna step away. If we in the middle of a game and I say, "Hey, OD, I'm gonna step away," they be like, "Bro, what what you mean?" So. In that aspect, you know, some you know people gave him a pass. Oh, you know, what for whatever reason, we don't know the reason, we don't speculate, but we're just saying the the facts is you stepped away, you quit. And then to do it again, okay. Now it, it when the heat get hot, I need to know what you're gonna be like. I always have judged my friends, my true friends, I don't really have a lot of those because I don't judge them until I go through something with them. I need to know how you going to, I need to know how you going to hold up when it, when it get high, we going to be back to back up in here or you going to step away. You feel me? So in that aspect of it, man, I just want you, you know, whatever it is, I want you, I want them to try to work it out. You know, we hard on you, but you deserve that. You deserve all the pressure that we put on you, man. Pressure busts pipes and make diamonds. And we here to make a diamond. So, That's real. man, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you can do, get yourself together. Hey, and come on back and be the diamond that you, you, you know, you feel like you could be. You know what I'm saying? So we, we ride with you, but don't get it twisted. We put we applying pressure. We applying pressure because you like OD say, man, you you're in a position that a lot of people don't have. So that's what I got to say. Easy. All right. I got a question for everybody. Um, so I need everybody that's watching this to really listen in close for this question. 
why y'all ain't hitting the like button, man? Make sure if you like, if you see what you see, <laughs> if you like what you see here, man, hit that like button, dog. Why y'all ain't hitting it? That's my question, man. They just gave y'all these beautiful think pieces from the heart, two different sides, man. Come on now. If you like what you see, exit out of the chat and hit that like button right now. But nah, <laughs> nah, serious, <it's> though. <laughs> um, man, I don't think I've ever had a situation hit me the way this Devo situation is hit me because I, I truly don't know how to feel. You know, the competitor in me is mad. It's hurt. The Razorback fan in me is mad. He's hurt. But then, you know, it's a human side of me that's like, man, you know, sometimes we go through things, but I hate to see somebody shoot themselves in the foot. Like sometimes I didn't have so many situations in my life where I look back and I'm like, man, I wish I wouldn't handled that different. But for you to have two of those in back to back seasons, that's something different, dog. For you to be the, the, the leader of this team, that's something different, dog. For you to do this in the middle of the season. It's not preseason. It's not during, you know, summer workouts. Like, man, this is in the thick of it. SEC play, when your team needs you the most. To do this now just really says a lot, especially coming from the guy that was just arguing with us on Twitter a couple weeks ago. But like I said, man, you know, you're, you're a growing young man. I get that. I know your folks, like, and they good people. They really good people. And I, I never say anything personal about you, but – just as far as when it comes to what you do on this team, that's what we talk about. That's what everybody in this chat love. We love these Razorbacks, dog. I can understand you quitting on yourself, but to quit on your guys, that's a whole different thing. And I'm not going to say quit, but step away, whatever you want to call it. All I'm going to say is, Devo, if you're watching this, man, bounce back. Shake back, dog. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you get back in the game and don't score another point. Like, come back, show your heart, show your character. Like, we know you better than this, and we all just hurt because we care. <laughs> man, way to break the ice on that one, DZ. That was a good one, man. Uh, Mellow501 is on, on his dome in the comments. Uh, uh, on oh, no, nah, on, uh, on Devo's head. Uh, Black Neighbor says, maybe Devo saw Tonka Tide step away from the Woo Pig Pie and say, hey, I want to be like Tonka Tide. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> Hey, Tucker Ty, that's our guy, man. He still rock with us, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Last bit of word on the street, man. We're going to open this thing up, man. Uh, oh. Trevin Brazil, what said, man. What, what's going on with Trevin, man? So, uh, while I was sitting in the chair, man, guy comes in the shop and was like, yo, I just talked to son, sir. And Trevor Bazil may not be coming back either from this little tweaked knee, supposed tweaked knee. And when asked, when they asked Muss about it, if you go back to the press conference and, and watch, Muss was kind of heme hawing around like he really didn't, he really didn't know. But it's uh I think it's, you know, what I can't, I guess the kind of the gist of it was there is some locker room issues. So there, there, there is some locker room issues and they trying to get those things worked out. So we just trying to figure out what we're going to have left. What, what, what's going to, after, after this, after the smoke clear, who going to be left standing? And out of those people that's going to be left standing, are they going to be able to stand up and fight for the squad? So, but yeah, that's, that's what they, uh, you know, when you sit in the, in the chair and somebody opened the door and you hear them bells hit the door. Bling, 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 bling. Yeah. They came in hollering that one. So what y'all think about that? Oh, um, I hate it. But then again, do I hate it? You you know it's so scary, bro. And I, I'm so sick of doing this every show, y'all. I'm sorry. But the football team and the basketball team is like parallels this year. Remember when Rocket was playing terrible all season, getting injured, and we was like, stay injured. Like, you know, we want you to get better. <laughs> no, not not on no, but we don't care. Like, you haven't done anything. 
make us want to fight for you to get back. And I almost feel like that about Brazil, and I can't believe I'm saying this based off what we thought he was going to be. It's just he is the Rocket Sanders of the, the basketball team. Mm. Yeah. Before I before I get on my get my guys boxing unbiased up here, man, we got 250 people in the building. I only got 95 likes. Man, Come y'all got to hit that like button for me one time. Close out the chat. Hit the like button for your boys, man. Come on, support the channel. You know how we, we be do. here with that. <clears throat> now, uh, G, before we get before we get into that, man, we got to shout out our sponsor, 3M Electric, man. Yes, sir. Hey, 3M Electric. Everybody knows they're a uh, electrical contractor that serves Northwest Arkansas, but they got something special going on, man. They're looking to add to their team. So you might ask, well, what will I be doing? You know, working for 3M Electric. Well, what you'll be doing is you'll be assisting the customers in the maintenance, repair, and installation of their electrical systems. They're looking for some qualified professional journeymen to join their team and to contribute to the success and growth of 3M Electric. If you're interested or if you just know somebody that's a that's a journeyman electrician, tell them to give 3M Electric a call at 479 479- 408-9865. Again, that number is 479-408-9865. Thank you, 3M Electric, man. We're going to look for some good guys for you. Man, shout out to 3M Electric. And uh, Box, we're going to come to you first, what man. What you, what, you, what you think about the Devo situation and the Eric Musselman situation? What's your takes on that? I'm going I'm to get on the Devo thing first. And I hope I ain't not wrong with it because I dealt with the de- I've dealt with depression like two or three years ago. Was it two or three years ago, Greg, I was telling you about? Yes. Two. And I, I, I will feel more sympathetic for Devo if it didn't happen two years in a row after he got his minutes taken. Mm. If if you really, if you really down and out, you would it, it wouldn't it wouldn't take for your minutes to be taken. To leave. If me and mm-hmm. let's say let's say me and these have been knowing each other for 20 years. We tight like brothers. But I get in the fight and these guys jump me and DV DZ lead me two times. <laughs> me and DZ ain't cool no more. <laughs> yeah, really. At all. <laughs> DZ, hey, DZ, hey, hey, DZ can come back and help me two straight times after that. But I ain't gonna trust him because he done left me twice. When I needed it. That's yeah. what Devo did. Devo left his guys when they needed him twice, two years in a row. Yeah. So I don't feel sympathy for Devo Davis at all because he did it when he got his minutes taken. That ain't depression. That ain't something wrong with you. That that's you being a baby and you leaving because most puts you at the end of the bus. Mm. That's what that is. And so, so re- rebuttal, uh, I got a, a, a question to, to piggyback. If, if you was... If you was uh, Devo's uncle, man, what would you say to him? I mean, once somebody come out the closet, you can't say nothing. You oh, hey, hold out. on, man. We, we don't know nothing about that. I'm just, I mean, them nails. Them that nails. Mean that. We, we don't, don't know about, about, that. about that. Hey, <laughs> I, 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 you, hey at, at this point, when Devo <laughs> at the age he at, you can't say nothing. They grown. The time <laughs> of raising somebody when you're 27 years old is it's over. You both do that for before they turn 18 and get out the house. So what are mm. you gonna say? That's yeah, that's true. That's I, I true. Can't even hold it. But but still, could you have benefited from I mean, I, of course, it, as you got older and people tried to continually tell you, hey, that's not a good look, don't do that. But you thought you was grown and you knew everything and you went and did it anyway. And guess what happened? You know what? Like 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 your folks used to say, a hard head make a soft, you know what? Yep. Even even as an adult, they tried to lead you and you didn't listen, and it backfired on them. On you. You know why? They, you know why they ain't gonna say nothing. The same reason, job job my rat daddy. I ain't gonna say nothing to him. Making money. too much money. Got mm. a point. I'm biased. Yep. I'm biased. You back in the closet? Um. <laughs> hey, listen. Um, it's it's late. That's all I can say. What's up, my <laughs> brethren? What's going on, man? <laughs> So, so I had to chop it up with you. you. Now, in regards to Devo, I got to be fair, and I think we need to be fair, especially considering there's a lot we do not know. 
But the one thing I do know was when he stepped away last year, it was family related. I know that's what it was. And now to associate that with this year, it's unfair, but it's fair. It's kind of a weird conundrum because there was not a lot of transparency of what was going on. So you leave a lot of people with their own devices. So you're going to get some cruel things said, unfortunately, because of that. But I know last year when he stepped away from the team, it was for a short period of time. It what it had to it was family related. I'm gonna leave it at that. But this year it's different. I'm just gonna keep it being. It feels different. I don't know. I can't speculate on anything, but from what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling, it's different. The energy of the team is off. Last year, there was some issues with the team, but it was different than what this year is bringing. So I'm going to remember it all when it comes to deep. I'm going to remember the great things he did, the, the game-winning shot with Oral Roberts. He, he, he gave all his years to Arkansas, and that's something you don't get in college – anymore so i'm gonna appreciate that but i'm not gonna disregard the fact that right now where we stand he's not on the team and it's something going on that may be basketball related the reason why he's not on the team i can't speculate that until i know for certain we may never know but if he doesn't return it's a sad finish to a career and i'm gonna leave it at that man you know what that that is a good point man it is a sad finish to to his career that if this is the way you leave, that's, that's terrible. Um, but man, we got, I'm just saying in the building, I'm just saying your takes on, on those two topics, man. Uh, yeah, you know, y'all can't listen to box sometimes, man. You know, he, um, he has some good takes. I give him credit for that, but you know, when, uh, his emotions get involved, you know, he, his opinion you got to take with a grain of salt. And we both know when it comes to KJ and Devo, you know where he stands. But I'm going to say this, man. I, I do like uh, Unbiased's take because I want to take up for Devo. Because my thing is, this is, to me, it's bigger than this situation with Devo. And it goes back to the conversation between Jake Beckett in the fall and uh, Hunter Juracek, because one of the things that Beckett brought up in that conversation with Juracek when they was going back and forth about NIL was the fact that uh, Juracek was basically trying to sell this idea that, well, we ain't too keen on the idea of paying these players, but what we do, what we do want to offer them is mental health, right? So what happened in the football season? The team had some adversity against BYU. All the players talking about all oh, they talking about us on social media. Sam Pittman come out, you know, he he get involved in that. He end up dropping his Twitter account talking about, oh, they talking about me on Twitter and all this kind of stuff. And the next thing you know, by the end of the season, the whole football team done quit. Mm. Going into this basketball mm. season, similar thing. Team hit some adversity. What was they talking about? Even before this came up with uh, Devo. Oh, man, they didn't quit on Muslim. Now, some people might want to try to say, oh, yeah, it was all because of Devo. Devo was a cancer on the team. This thing is bigger than just one player. It's the whole, it's, it might be a problem within the whole athletic department because when you have the leadership of the athletic department selling this, kind of new school stuff about, oh, you know, if somebody talk about you and they say mean things to you online, you know, it's okay. You know, you need mental health and all this. And these young, impressionable kids. And don't be surprised if, if they start, you know, acting like this. You know what I mean? So that's my take, you know. Um, you know, I just wanted to get that in and uh, appreciate it, guys. All right, I'm just saying right, I gotta, appreciate you for tapping in. Uh, hey, wait, wait, I got a round of hard question on that. Can I add something wait, to wait, that wait, real wait, quick? Because I didn't even actually make my must take. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, let's, 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 let, let's let Box respond because Box wanted to respond to unbiased. Y'all know they hey, got a hey, 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 But I didn't even make my man. must take, but I'm going to wait. Hey, I didn't either. No. But I'm going to let you make it in a second. But hold on. But I'm just, hey, this is what I'm just saying. It's, it's obvious that you hate me. I'm your man crush. <laughs> 
But when I go to sleep, what you think about me don't even matter. Period. <laughs> That's the reason when you talk, everybody, that's the reason when you talk, everybody goes to sleep because they don't really want to hear what you're saying. They just, they just respecting that let you talk. That's all I got to say. And I'm just saying, that's all I'm just saying. All right. So now we go, well, we gonna go to, uh, we going to go to unbiased. Unbiased, get your point on. Uh, uh, then would you just smash? Well, I don't know. Were you smashing? I'm just saying, box. So I'm just yeah, saying. That, that was... <laughs> okay. okay, I didn't know where. I thought you were talking about a particular person. I didn't know who you're talking about. But um, yeah, when it you. comes to Musk, I think the one when y'all was talking about his wife not liking it here and all that, I was kind of like frowning my face. Like we don't know that for a fact. I think that might be a little cap. The streets be talking, but the streets ain't always right. Streets. Hey, I heard that the whole Devo leaving last year for family stuff was cap. I ain't gonna lie, because last year they didn't say you know that was the reason he left. Wow. See, you never know, man. You never know. You never know. I heard something completely different, but I wouldn't be surprised. So uh, that's the part of the problem. The, when you don't have transparency and you spec and you leave a lot for speculation, that's the type of stuff you get. So, I'll, you know, it is what it is pretty much, you know. But when it comes to must, you know, the question Hey, how much time he's going to be here? It's a legitimate question because his history is of like a five year run. Um, I think, though, on that premise, though, I don't see him leaving right now, but I don't see him being another being here another five years, for another five, six years. I can see him being there another three or four, maybe get a four year deal um, extension. And then, you know, maybe three years in it, he, he ends up either taking another opportunity or taking a step back. I can see that. But I mean, I'm going to appreciate what we got from what we got, because I've had some we've had some really good years from us this year. It's not it's not turning out so good. Complete disappointment. But I mean, what we get is what we get. I do think our basketball program has some you know, has has a certain amount of prestige that our football program doesn't. So it's a possibility that our basketball program, even without Musk, can be able to get a good coach and continue to be competitive and good at least, you know, three out of five seasons at a time in comparison to football. It's a lot harder to maintain a, a positive product. But the biggest thing, the big thing to me is the, the, the fan base, the athletic program running into the football team, Y'all soft. That's the problem. Y'all all soft. Everybody got soft. These are this is tough sport. You got to maintain a certain amount of intestinal fortitude and toughness. And what's lacking is we lacking that. We're lacking that. We're soft. And that's sad. That I got to say, Jake Beckett is right. When I look at the landscape of, of athletics in Arkansas, in the fan base of Arkansas, anytime we question some, everybody up in arms, all caring and being all sensitive. These things we're going to talk about. This, this is what what it comes with being in the spotlight of a program. You know, uh, in, in a state where they don't have a professional football team. This is the pro sports. You got to be able to handle the bright lights or you're going to melt. As simple as that. It's just too much softness going on. It's soft from top to bottom. Mm. Not top hey, to can bottom. I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I respond to that Musk question? Hold, hold, hold on just one second, Box. You've been cooking. But, Melo, I, I, if you want to be on, we getting feedback from you. So you're gonna have to get some headphones, turn off the vo something going on with I'm getting feedback. Okay, give me one second. All right. Now, box, we're gonna come to you. I'm biased. I'm gonna put you in the green room because I got somebody waiting to come on. All right, box, go ahead. I'll make mine quick. This is the thing about money at all. But if you don't want to be here, leave. Cause we don't need nobody and want nobody that that that's trying to escape out the back door just go get me crazy coach tcu coach or fau coach <clears throat> i promise you we'll be okay who tcu and who tcu fau and creighton one of Man. them coaches along with our nl money and our talent will be better because guess what they're gonna do they're gonna teach an offense that's what they're gonna do mm. how about you hey hey we got white boy Ricky ain't coming building. We got white boy Rick in the building. What's up, white boy Rick? How you doing tonight, man? Hey, boy doing Rick. Good. <laughs> doing to good. Us, hey, I appreciate y'all for what you do. If I can have a minute. Hey, do what yes, you do, sir. baby. 
Hey, man, y'all do good work. I like what you're doing. Um, but box, you make a good point every once in a while, but Devo has torn this team apart. Trevor oh. Brazil has torn this team apart. They just have. It is what it is. And then you go back to Musk. Musk built this team, like y'all, like y'all said, somebody said. Musk built this team. And he built it with the same people. I mean, you look at what he brought in. He brought in Battle, Ellis, and Mark. They're the same basketball players. That's the three same guys. They got to dominate the basketball or they ain't no good. And now they're all running around on the court looking at each other like, who's going to dominate the ball? Amen. Yeah, but, but why did, let me go ahead, G. No, so why do you feel like Devo and Brazil have broken the team? Why, why do you personally feel that way? Uh, man, I don't, I don't want to sit here and I'd be like everybody else. I, you know, you know what it is. Why? I think y'all know what it is. We, we, pick, oh, we okay. picking up what you put. I think down. Box brought it up earlier. He brought we, we, it up okay. earlier. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, say less. <laughs> <laughs> we, we pick it up. Okay. All right. That's what uh, we got. Hey, Melo, we we coming to you next, man. Melo, you had you had a lot a lot to say, man, in the comments, man. We glad you came up and now you can say what you wanted to say, man. Talk to us. Just keep it clean. <laughs> That's hard. Right. He might be muted. Are you nah. muted? No, nah, he's not muted. We can't hear him. Actually, you know what? He is muted. Okay, Melo, there you go. Am I good? Yeah, yeah go for yeah, it. That- yeah, man, your boy Devo quit on us, man. All the reason I say Devo quit, man, because Devo quit right before the game. It wasn't nothing no day before, uh, five hours before. Devo quit right before the game, man. And that's sorry, man, because dude, the only senior, bro. He the only person been here four years. I ain't got no pass for Devo, man. And Devo know me, man. So if Devo watching this, he know I'm highly disappointed. And I ain't got no pass for him. That's crazy, bro. How you going to quit the team right before we finna play Kentucky, bro? The biggest game. He, he tripping, man. And then Muslim, all y'all talking, bro. We don't want to lose much. Bro, y'all must forgot about Pelfrey, Stan Heath, and Mike Anderson, man. We was trash. Three coaches. And y'all talking about Muslim. Super trash. trash. <laughs> 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 I better cut it, Muslim, man. Muslim, Muslim, the only person that brought them players here that made everybody happy, bro. Before Muslim came, bro, we ain't had no top 100 players. Mike Anderson wasn't even recruiting top 100 players. Pelfrey got lucky and got a couple top 100 players. And I know somebody gonna say, well, he got Bobby Porter. Bobby from the city, man. Bobby was coming from going to Arkansas regardless. Moses regardless. You know what I'm saying? Man, Muslim been the only one to come get them players, man. So we lose hey. Muslim, man. Hey, oh, we gonna go Hunt got them no, no lies detected, man. Hey, no, must have been said the same thing. Hey, must have been Anthony Black or uh, must have been Anthony Black or um, Walsh. Nick Smith got, got them. Him. Man, like who they play for? Nick Smith recruited both of them. Who, who did if they? If Nick play? Smith had it with somebody else, hey. they wouldn't have came. Hold on, box, box. You know, you know, both of them committed to Arkansas before Nick Smith, don't you? No, Anthony you Black they committed to the. Anthony Black what? just committed to the McDonald's All American game. What do you think? Uh, what you call it? No, he committed way before McDonald's. What? Dude, dude committed way before McDonald's because he was already committed to Arkansas when he was in the USA stuff. <laughs> no, he Black was not. He man, announced Walsh, his commitment at the McDonald's All American game. Walsh was the first. Somebody Google check. Because Walsh <laughs> was the first one. <laughs> <laughs> then he oh, man, said somebody Google check. Oh, <laughs> man. Come on. What are you talking about? Uh, Anthony Black did Nick Smith announce his where he was going at the McDonald's All American Game. Was that before Nick Smith or after Nick Smith? 
I bet you it was Anthony. Not, uh, before Nick Smith you. and Jordan Roberts already committed. Hey, I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm by. after JB Hunt Foundation uh, put their money up. Hey, can y'all I mean, hear me? Was, that was way after my brother. Uh, Anthony Black was one of the very last commits out of the class. Yeah. I was following that the whole time because I was rooting on. I actually was following his mom like the year before because I was looking at him like, yo, he going to be nasty. We need A.B. So no, he was one of the very last commits. Okay. No, you right because he was going to go to Gonzaga. You sure right. You right. I'll take that Anthony. big box. You right. <laughs> you right. You right. You right. You right. You right. Sometimes you be you wrong, though. But, so, man, like so, I said, man, we need so, much, so, man, because much going to bring kids here, man. We don't, I don't know about these other coaches, man. Maybe y'all think somebody that can get to Arkansas and bring kids in. But Musman done brought kids in, man. And I remember Arkansas before Musman. And, pff, man, come on, man. What we had? Do you remember Arkansas like, before the J.B. Hunt Foundation? I mean, that's, that comes hey, with any college, though. Any college going to come yeah, with J.B. Hunt. All the money, bro. That's any college. Yeah, but y'all like talking this. about Pelfrey. Y'all talking about Pelfrey and Mike Anderson. It was no portal back then. I'm just exactly. saying they went. I'm saying they weren't recruiting good players. Like, what's the best player Mike Anderson recruited, bro? Mike Anderson didn't even know. It was no portal. Bro. It was no portal bro. back then. Money. I'm talking about high school. Oh, I'm talking about we high school. We can let box bro. coach for us, and he'll bring them in with the money of JB Hunt. Man, right? nobody will box, right. man. Box uh, somebody right. from Jacksonville. Hold on, Melo. We're gonna we're gonna come back to you in a minute, man. Uh, unbiased. You've been waiting to get yours off, man. Go ahead and cook. I, I'm being real patient too. I'm trying to because I think the must talk is hella premature. Excuse my French. I apologize. It's very premature. I, I think we need to kind of calm down on that because I know what their initial source when they first people start talking about it, and it, you can tell like the way you read into it, it was kind of a uh, satirish. So I, I understand the dynamics of his history but until there's real smoke you're reaching for the stars i i really personally believe that and i think to take away all credit from him says jb hunt that's part nonsense because if it was just jb hunt that means you can put anybody in place and be successful and that's just not the case it's just not the case we gotta be a little bit more realistic i'm just, I'm just being honest does he have flaws is there some things that you that you can see that you, you improve upon? Yes, but in regards to the branding, the success rate, it's it's higher than it's been since 1996. I don't care about JB Hunt and I and or none of that. It takes some decent coaching, decent people behind their coach to create a product that's successful. And we didn't have that for almost 30 for 20 for 24 years. We didn't have that, so we got. Plot of breaks, just a little bit. Though. I mean, we we ain't saying fire. We just asking the question. I'm no, I'm no, no, no. This ain't this, this ain't me saying this for you. This is when I speak. I speak in a to a total perspective type of way, where it's for everybody to listen and digest. That means that people that do agree with me will say, "Yeah, you're right." Then people that don't dis don't don't agree with me, they might actually look and say, "Well, let me chill," because you know we've had some great success with Musk. We've had some absolute joys. So I'm not saying I I'll let you know if I feel like you're saying something just like directly at y'all. Because I told you, like I said, the whole thing about uh, Musk's family not liking it here. I thought that was a reach. So I told y'all specifically that's a reach. But usually when I speak, it's going to be in generalities for the in, in, for the you know, aspect for the whole program. Because we're yeah, speaking yeah. on where we want the program to go, right? Facts. Facts. Yeah, and so I, that's what I that's what I mean by that. Hey, shout out to me. Hey, shout out to my guy Matt, man. He always supporting the channel, man. He says, once they said Musk was trying to get a job at Minnesota, should tell you that was that rumor is cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't know who would do that. That just <laughs> that yeah. makes yeah, right, no right. sense right there. I, yeah. I agree with that one. We just report the news. We, you, you, I mean, that's all we do. Hey, man. Yeah, we're we just talking about it because it becomes a topic. And when you get this popular, when you're on this on this stage, everything becomes anything that comes out is going to be in a a, a a conversation piece. This is the professional yeah. sport of Arkansas. You have to take this as it as it is because in the NFL they're talking about everything when it comes to players. This is our NFL, or this is our NBA. Exactly. 
I got a exactly. question for Box. What if you? What if it's? What, what if the rumor is true and your boy Trev in Brazil quit? You gonna have that same smoke for him that you got for Devo? I will. Okay. Because this th- thing about it. This thing about it. Once you quit on my team, our team, our family, you getting all the smoke. <laughs> right now he ain't getting no. Right now he ain't getting no smoke because he ain't quit yet. But if the rumor is that he quit. He might well not even look at this show. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> hey, but you it, it hurt. You know, it he hurt. You, you been saying his knee was hurt for the past three weeks. So if he say his knee done, is he quitting or what? He better be on no, the bench. No, box said his knee been hurt for the last two years, last year and some change. Let box tell it. Yeah, so he was Superman you know, capable for so sure. Hey, hey, as a as a rat, now, I don't know what's wrong with boxer, right, Hey, as a rat now. Box was right because they said his knee hurt. Right, you right. But he just heard it. He just heard it. Nice try, Box. <laughs> hey, don't nobody know. We know Devo quit. We don't know if Brazil ain't no. hurt or not. We do know Devo quit. That's what. That's the fact. Hey, that's but let me say this to say. Let me say this to everybody listening. When Mike Carpenter report on on boxing, when Stephen A. Nim and all the people report on football and basketball, nobody says nothing if it's wrong. Don't get mad at these guys because they telling y'all what they hear. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You know, I'm involved in boxing. No, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's nobody, a live box. Hey, nobody that got true. nothing we to say. We be calling Mike Carpenter. Hey. The South don't hey, do that. No, nobody got nothing to say when they report that false news. Yes, how you we know, do. How we you know, know, hey, how you know that? Hey, how, hey, how you know the news that uh, Od, DZ, and G Holmes reported false? <laughs> you don't she, know. I didn't say it was false. I said, you know, if it's true, if it's true, it's true. I said sometimes the sometimes the streets be right, sometimes the streets be wrong. That's exactly what I said, Box. Hey, 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 I, I got did? something for both. A, hey, I got something man. real quick though. Real quick, I got something. Did y'all know? We got over 250 people in here, man. We need some more likes, dog. That's what we need right now. I don't know what y'all got going on tonight, but we need them likes popping. You feel me? At least 150, feel, man. man. Put some respect on the like button. Man, we got 255 yeah. people in the building, man. Only 126 likes. Close out the chat. Hit the like button. Don't hate watch. Show love. We love the team like you do, too. Man, Unless you are like a, a, a old Miss fan here. I got a question to move the needle a little bit. We got to we got to get to a new topic. All right, so check this out. We all saw what we did last game. No matter how you felt about the absence of our two most polarizing players on the team. We got Missouri coming up. They are 0 and 7 in the SEC. I repeat, 0 and 7 in the SEC. What y'all think? We going around Super the horn. Trash. Y'all think we we exactly super duper duper trash. Grover trash. So do we keep that same momentum, play some good ball, and beat this sorry team, or do we stoop to the level of our competition like we've been doing this entire season? I want to hear from everybody. Box. Well, I already said we're going to beat LSU or Mizzou at least once, so this could be the week that we beat Missouri. Hmm. Man, hello. Man, we might we, – we, what we play Missouri yet? At the house? At, at their house. Yeah, man. We, it might be all bad, man, for the Missouri game. Hey, I'm only going for us at the house, man. No, ain't no road, nothing, man. We ain't got no guard, man. We ain't got no point guard. Most of them said it, man. We ain't got no point guard. And don't y'all come with that lane blocker stuff. Please don't box. Don't come with that lane blocker, man. We ain't got no point guard. Hey, it's Minifield. What Minifield do? Minifield's too skinny, man. <laughs> with box, I'm on box. Hey, he said man. box like he was hey. ready to fight, boy. He said hey. box. Hey, box. hey, hey we all know. He don't got hey, we all know. We all we all know this show who played basketball, who did so. I'm gonna let him talk. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, hey, that's that's why block on the bench. Hey, that's why block on the bench because people think <laughs> like you. That's um, once nigga get me, he know, he know, he know like I know. <laughs> like, hey, you know, like I know. If you hey, can shoot that hey, ball, read, hey, play, hey, 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 h
Hey, read the comments after the show. You'll see people do not want to hear what you say. Hey, man. <laughs> people don't know nothing. I, I don't know. I like Melo, man. He, hey, he good for the show, man. What you talking about? <laughs> Why you think he's right now? He's talking about on the bench, bro. It ain't no, bro, this ain't no secret. Why you think he on the bench? If he could play, he hey. play. They play the bad yeah, That don't mean, that do not mean he can't play just because he on the bench. All right, yeah, hey, I would. We coming to White Boy Rick, man. Let's let's go to White Boy Rick, man. Let's get your let's get your thought on this White Boy Rick. Okay, so uh, first of all, we'll be talking about blocker. Let's talk about no, blocker. Talk, the the question on the table, with DZ, Repeat the question, man. <laughs> okay. All right. So, do we beat Missouri? Let's make it a two part then, since they added a little spice. One, do we beat Missouri at their house? And two, would you rather see Layton Blocker or Minifield at the point? Oh, now, Ooh. Uh, I think we go into Missouri. Well, I hope we go into Missouri and take their business because the energy we showed against Kentucky, we showed something we hadn't shown in a long time. So there's something there, right? Maybe we figure it out because we're just playing random dudes. I think he has to cut it down like he always has. He's cut it down to about, what, eight? Every year he cuts it down to about eight, and he plays the shit out of them. We're playing too many dudes. So oh, wait, well, you can't be cussing in here like that, man. Sorry. Family show. I didn't even hear what uh, you said. But anyway, keep going. So at Missouri, I think we figure it out. I think we win the game. As far as Minifield and Blocker, you split their time because Minifield is our – true point guard like y'all are all Razorback fans you all know Razorback basketball I want to know the last time you had three dudes score 30 points in a game and they mm -hmm. don't average 10 you got two of them that don't average 10 Manifield scored 30 in a game and uh, what's his name Mark's Averaging 17. Uh, Ellis. Ellis scored 30 in a game. It wasn't for Arkansas. That was a battle. That was a battle. <laughs> battle, battle. A bad box. Battle. Yeah. Three dudes scored 30. That's mm. that's strange, I think. Mm. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, does battle not average 10? I don't think so. Hell, he didn't play in two or three games. Well, if he didn't play, then that don't go against his average, though. We need to, hey, DZ, can you find that answer for us? We're going to find that. We're going to fact check yeah. you on that one. Battle average, yeah, battle yeah. average in 11.5 yep. right now. There we go. He was the leading scorer the first, like, 11 games of the season. The SEC play has been really low, but he started yeah. off the season being the leading scorer until that game when Mark scored a bunch against North Carolina. Mm. All right. Now, unbiased, coming to you. Same questions, man. All right. So, I personally believe we're going to play down to our competition, but win the game somehow against Missouri. Um, what was the second part of the question, my, my brother DZ? Uh, oh, it was the starting point guard, Minifield. Yeah. I was thinking about it for a little bit, and I think you actually should start Minifield, but then play Blocker a little bit more minutes because Blocker is a little better defensively. You play, you play Minifield for offense, you play Blocker for defense. Hmm. All right, G. <clears throat> First off, man, that was that was a funny exchange between Melo and, and Box, man. Melo <laughs> reminded me hilarious, of that was hilarious, man. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. Melo was like that. Oh, that yeah, uh, remember the little, little the little dude that was like, "Today I got time, cuz." <laughs> hey, 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 you know hey, he G, did, hey, right? G. Hey G, everybody come out the box. I'm 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 used to it. Everybody come out to me. Keep it coming. You say that little that little dude. Today I got time, cuz. <laughs> I ain't know he was dead. Oh man. But anyway, this go my for me, I think, man, the way we came out with that energy, if we can reproduce, somehow reproduce that and uh get up on them, because we are gonna be on the road. They gonna be up because 
they ain't won a game, and guess what? They feel like they got some, you know, chop. You know what OD say? Oh, girl coming through. So <laughs> they, they feel like they're going to get one. They feel like that. So I feel like they are, they're going to be ready to play. And, I, 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 man, I just hate. Man, they got me scared to bed with them. I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go with the Hogs, man. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with them. I, I'm gonna go with them in a close one. I, I'm gonna say Hogs for the dub, and for the point guard, I'm gonna say, I say we split that time. I think uh, Minifield will probably be a great starter, but I believe that Blocker will be a better finisher. That's what I say. Deasy. Hey, man, all I'm going to say is this. If Connor Van Over have some type of breakout game on us, fire everybody, get rid of the whole team, let's start over. I'm <laughs> straight on it. But, no, nah, real talk, though, I I think we got to win this game. Like, I, hopefully that not having those same two players out like we did last season, like hopefully that, I mean, not season, last game, I think we'd be all right. Like, I think Devo in, in Brazil ended up hurting the team more than they helped the team this year. And last game showed that. So if these boys come out hungry, um, determined, I don't see how we can't beat these boys. But, I mean, it's the battle of the worst right now. It's us and them. So it's we don't see. Them. And yeah. for point guard, I don't even care who play point guard, to be real. Like, everybody just – I like Minifield a lot. I had a lot of hope for him. But at this point, I don't even know. Mm. I mean, so yeah, make the question not come up with the answer. <laughs> hey, hey, that's, hey, that's a good point, white boy Rick. That's an excellent, excellent point right there. Hey, that's why I made the question because I ain't know. I, I needed y'all to help me. Help, help. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, shout out, shout out, to Tux Talk with Ty here, kicking it with the boys late at late at night. He said Mizzou Arena is going to collapse within itself like a dying star in Columbia with all that awful play. Oof. I don't know what happened hey, to Mizzou, man. man. They used to, they was all right. They was good last year. I mean, they was really good last year, but just like the, the players Hawks, are going, they, they went from they went from sugar to to, to boo boo, real quick. Cole Brown is gone. That was yeah. a guy. Well, I'm gonna say this: uh, Will the Hogs win? I am going to pick against the Hogs because every Ooh. time I say they're gonna win, they get beat. So I'm gonna say they're gonna lose in hopes that they win. So they win. <laughs> yes, they're gonna lose. So that's what I'm uh. going with. They're gonna lose. They're gonna get beat down real good. They're gonna lose. Connor Van Ever gonna have 26 points, 10 rebounds, and Ooh. eight blocks. Damn. Come on, man. Stop it. Stop. I don't it. believe that, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> now Dang. I'm gonna go to this blocker situation, the, the point guard situation. And even though y'all know how I feel about L. Ellis, that's the turnover king. In the first five minutes of the game, I trust him. Because ain't nobody really playing hard, hard the first five minutes of the game. They just trying to see what they can do. Ain't no pressure on him in the first five minutes of the game. So you play him between 20 minutes and 12 minutes. After that, on the bench for the rest of the half. Turnover king, no more. You, you're not going to be on the – not at all. Then oh. you can run Minifield in there, but Minifield had – if you go back and look at that old Miss game, he had a plus minus. His minus was 30. No, I'm sorry, 23. Yes, 23. Tw 23. Bruh. Yeah. Super trash. I don't know. Man, Minifield, I hear tripping out here. So, I mean, you're going to put him on the court, <laughs> put him on the court for like five minutes, and then like, eh, you tripping. Ow. I got I to put you back on the bench. But you gotta yeah. get blocking some. You get blocking some burn. You got to, because I hey. I'm not trusting the turnover king to be in the game at the end of any half. So I rather have blocker out there, put the ball in Tremont Mark hand, and let him close out the halves. Let him close out the halves. Let blocker play the defense on whoever he need to play D on. But Minifield, Ellis. On the bench at the end of the halves, end of the game. They don't play. I got blocker. I got uh, Tremont Marcus, my guards. 
Uh, that's yeah, how he feels to the hole before anybody. So at the end of the game, I want that dude taking the last shot because he's gonna get hacked. Who? Talking hey, about, uh, who you talking about, Mark? Manafield. Man, Manafield, oh. bro. I had faith Manifield in Manafield. He's man, up. that boy. He don't he is not playing no ball. If you got big, if he's playing against big guards, that's where you got to limit his minutes because big guards can take him out of the game. He got to bulk up a little touché. bit. Touche, touche. You, you hey, got to situational deal. Minifield shot is shot is not the best. He's not a true point guard because he's he, he goes. It's not the worst. Hour. He's not the best. We're looking for I mean, a crossover. Hey, 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 and, and he goes hundred miles an hour. He don't try to pass the ball to nobody. He can't play no, defense. Hey, but check this out. Okay. Y'all think y'all, hey, y'all think Duke got a good team? Y'all think Duke got a good team? Do y'all think that? Duke? I think, I think Duke. They, I think Duke coach sucks. But they number seven. <laughs> who who did who did Musselman <laughs> have in the game the almost the whole second half at point guard? I don't remember. I slept since then. Blocker. They took block out with like one minute left, put Devo in. Yeah, it's it's a situation. It's always a situational thing. Like if it's a defensive deal, we want blocker in there. If it's a one second to go and you want to go get a ball to the basket and get fouled, man, feel. You give if it you want to, I'll get the ball to Mark first. You give it to Mark. Yeah. You don't give it to Manifield. You give it okay, to Mark. Okay, I would say that too. I would say that too. But I'm talking about blocker or uh, Manifield. Uh-huh. At at this point, you can bench them all, and just put Mark out there, and give me some, and give me Joe's opinion that yeah, he can spot up in the corner. No, you no, give me uh, that is not uh, a the dude that, the dude that can't player. jump. You can give yes, me number, what's number twenty four. You can spot him oh, up in the other corner. You can give me battle. Hey, you, I, give me Mark and give me four shooters. The best shooters you got, whoever they are. Get that's who I, I want on the court. Hey, what's the big Hulk Hogan white bone on the bench? What's his name? Who knows? He Who? don't play. <laughs> play, play, play. That's the inside dude. Play him. Let him, right. let him play. Right. You talking about Blake? You talking about Walk, Walker Flocker? I think it's Blake. Yeah, play him. Blake. That's the big. That's the big dude inside. Play him. Man, he man, he's super trash. Man, what you talking about? No, he ain't play seen the baseball. Court. You. Look. Play baseball yeah. before you do that. Yeah, Stop it, man. Come on, Bob. Like you way outside hey, of the box, Bob. Hey, we wait a minute. I've been trying to get baseball, but everybody trashed me, so I'm trying to get throw out another name. No, let him get some burn, man. He, 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 he's a high four star. Let him get some burn. Let him develop. Bro. At this point, let him develop. Baseball. At this point, he needs Jesus, boy. That boy can't play no basketball. No, he I'm ain't sorry. that horrible. You, you're talking like he that that horrible, man. Stop it, OD. He is not that horrible. He just needs hey. to develop. Let him get out on the floor and develop. Hey, man, hey, this season, we he... are 10 and 10. We're going nowhere fast. Let him develop. Man, hey, he need to go develop at, hey, under the bridge in Little Rock. <laughs> that boy can't play no ball, bro. <laughs> That boy trash. Sure I'm sorry, man. No Mayfall is not that guy. Hey, hey, but hey, but he's a five star. You gotta see what you got at some point. We already got a losing season. You gotta see <laughs> what you got. We know what we got. Bambi Lee. We don't know. He don't even yes. play two minutes a game. Because he probably yeah, fell today. He probably fell and he, he probably still on the ground in, in practice. I fall and I can't get up. <laughs> Bay fall. The boy, all he do is fall. Every time he in the game, he on the ground. Like, dude, you why you on the ground all the time? I don't he get muscle. it. He hustle. Muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, OD, you cold blooded, bro. All man, they I'm do sorry, is fall. Hey, <laughs> is not that guy, man. I'm sorry, man. I don't even know who. Uh, what's that dude named? Ronnie Brewer recruited him. I know he did. I know. He, hey, Touch Talk said. Hey, the season is over. Let fall get a few minutes, man. At this point, you probably right. It don't even matter. Yeah, it don't even matter. Hey, I think Paul will be all right in like a season and a half. Like he gonna be all right. Thank you, DZ. Look at KK. KK wasn't that with nothing. Look at him now. It be why you lighting it up. Who? Development, man. It matters. Who do you say, KK? KK Robinson is where he is. I thought KK Robinson at ULR. He is. 
I, I'm wrong. I, who's the BYU? I messed up. I tripped up and mixed the uh, players you, up. You, you, I know you're talking about the shooter. The shooter. We uh, he can't. He transferred from uh Texas A and M. Yeah, after he left us. Yeah. Yeah, but I I can I can play. tell you what his name. He a BYU busting heads though. But yeah, it, is BYU. Wow. it is BYU. It is BYU. Head busted once they got the Big Twelve play. Yeah, they exactly. run an offense. Oh, they run an offense for their players. That's what. That's what he. That's when he doing better. Well, well, man, we are going to shut it down for the night, man. We appreciate everybody tapping in with us, coming up and kicking it with us, man. We appreciate you. If you ain't hit the like button, make sure you do that on, on your way out. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Share this. Share this content with somebody and tell them, hey, man, these boys on the Woo Pick podcast, man, they will keep you laughing, man. Hey, appreciate sure y'all. Share that. Appreciate you, gentlemen, uh, as always. Yeah, absolutely, man. Y'all have a good one. Deezy. God bless. Hey, man. I appreciate everybody that came and kicked it with us tonight, man. We had a great all-star cast tonight, man. That was, yeah, that that was just some good talk. Welcome to Jackson the barbershop, Robinson baby. This is what we do. Yes. Yeah, they were funny tonight. Yeah, yeah. Today we Bob. had time. He, he said, "Like you, Fox." <laughs> 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 he said it with his chest, Fox. I was like, oh. "That was that was hilarious, man." But That's yeah, classic. man, y'all know where to find us, man. Come back here Monday, Thursdays, and Saturdays, man. Or any random hall games, we got y'all. We starting to do live stuff during the games now. Tap in, subscribe, like. Hey, go tell your grandpappy downstairs. You know he a hog fan. Go wake him up. Hey, grandpa, you seen this? Your auntie, whoever it is, man. Hey, I'm just thankful to be here with y'all, man. So shout out to the Razorback Nation. It's been a tough season, but we're going to get through it together. Absolutely. G, check us out of here. But, yo, you know how y'all can get through with it? Hey, man, you need to contact 3M Electric because guess what? They looking for some journeyman electrician. And guess what? You'll be able to help install, do some maintenance, and uh, repair all the electrical systems. So if you are a journeyman electrician, they are trying to add to their team. Please give 3M Electric a call at 479-408-9865. That number again is 479-408-9865. Thank you, 3M Electric. But yo, fellas, man, the barbershop was jumping tonight, man. We had, we got it. We did a couple of fades. We did a couple of, you know, little high lows. We trimmed up some beers tonight. But look here, man. We like I said, we appreciate everybody coming in and kicking it with us over here, man. Because guess what? This is why we do it. We do it for y'all because we've been doing it. We give you places to come and state your facts and state your opinions. We respect it all. But at the end of the day, we said what we said. <laughs> and we out. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Whoopi podcast? Woo! Shout out OD.